This lesson is on derivative formulas at a point, a little different from derivative formulas for a whole function. We'll first start off with a point, and then we'll go to a whole function in another lesson. Well, first of all, what is a derivative? The definition is the slope of the tangent line at any point on a curve, or the slope of the curve at any point. We've been looking at tangent lines. We're also going to start looking at curves. Well, what's some sort of designation that we have? Derivatives can be designated by the following. The first one is f prime of x. And we usually say the first derivative of the function with respect to x, or f prime of x, as I just state, because that's the quick way to say it. Or we can say dy dx. This means the derivative of y with respect to x. A third way to represent this is d of f of x over dx. And that means the derivative of the function f of x with respect to x. Let's talk about slope of secant line, slope of tangent line again, which is, of course, the slope of the tangent line, which is our derivative, and see how we can come up with some algebraic ways to find a derivative. So given a graph that looks like that, we can call the first point a and the second point x, okay? So the point here is a, f of a, and the point here on our function would be x, f of x. Now, if we want to do the slope of the secant line, then we would say f of x minus f of a, change in y's, over the change of x's, which is x minus a. If we want the slope of the tangent line, m tan, we have to make x get closer and closer to a. Remember, this would be the slope of the secant line. And as we draw in closer and closer to a, we will get the slope of that tangent line. So we have to use a limiting value on this. So we put the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. This is one way to represent algebraically the slope of the tangent line. And I also have told you before that the slope of the tangent line is a derivative. So we can actually use our terminology to say that this is equal to f prime at the point in question, which is a in this case one way to represent algebraically our derivative. Second way, another graph. Again, this point we're going to call a, and this point we're going to call a plus h. So the length between a and a plus h is called h. So this makes this point a, f of a, and this point a plus h f of a plus h. Now, why do we do it? Because we look at a little interval being added on, h being a very, very, very small delta x, in our case, like 0 0.0001. So that, again, we can get the slope of those secant lines, if h is very, very small, to become the slope of the tangent line. So in this formula, the change in y over change in x is f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And that will give us the slope of the secant line, average change. And the slope of the tangent line, which again is f prime at a, and that's m of tangent, and that's equal to the limit as h, remember that's a delta x, approaches 0, so there's no change in that denominator, of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So now we have two formulas that we can determine our derivatives algebraically. Let's determine the slope of our curve, or the slope of a tangent line at a point. And there are two ways to look at this. When we zoom in on a function, we are 
finding the slope of the curve. But we are also finding the slope of the tangent line because the tangent line and the curve seem to intersect at a very small spot on the curve, as we well know. So let's look at our function. f of x is equal to x squared minus 1, and zoom in at x equals 1 and find the slope of the curve there. And there's our curve, and let's zoom in at x is equal to 1, so, which is right there. And you'll see our curve is already straightening out. So let's try it again, see how much straighter we can get it. It looks like a line there. So let's find the slope of this line, which is the slope of the curve, or it can be even be considered the slope of the tangent line, at the point x is equal to 1. Well, we know we have the point when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So we need another point to find the slope. So let's trace along our curve to a point really close. So let's use this one. 1.00625 and 0.012539. So when I do this slope, I'll do change in y, which is 0 0.012539 minus 0 over change in x, which is 1.00625 minus 1. And that will compute to 2.00624. So that's our computation of our slope. Is it exact? Probably not. The way we find out if it is exact is to find the slope of the tangent line at x is equal to 1. And that's what we're going to do next. Now we have two formulas for this. The first one was the slope of the tangent line which, as we begin to know now, is our first derivative at our point, and that's equal to the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x minus f at 1 over x minus 1. And putting in more values, limit as x approaches 1, we can replace our f of x with our function, which is x squared minus 1. And the value at f of 1, we know, is 0. So minus 0 over x minus 1. The 0 can go out. We can factor x squared minus 1 to x minus 1 times x plus 1 over x minus 1. We can actually reduce this, and we get the limit as x approaches 1 of x plus 1. We can now put in the number for x, which is 1. So 1 and 1 equals 2. That is the exact answer for the slope of the curve as well as the slope of the tangent line at x is equal to 1. And this is using our first formula. Let's try it again with our second formula because you have to know how to use both. That one says f prime at 1, which is the slope of the tangent line, is equal to f of a plus h minus f of a all over a. And we want the limit as h approaches 0 on that. So that's equal to a is 1, so we'll put 1 in, plus h quantity squared, and that takes over for our x squared, minus 1, minus f of a, which we know to be 0 again, all over h, and we need the limit as h approaches 0. Computing that, we get 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 1 all over h limit as h approaches 0. Keep going with that. Cross those out. Factor out an h. We get 2 plus h over h. Limit as h approaches 0. Those go out and we get 2 plus whatever h is. h is 0, so it's equal to 2. 
So we see that 2 is the absolute answer for the slope of the tangent line at x is equal to 1. That concludes our lesson on derivative formulas at a point.